Hey, welcome back to the Build a Basement. Today we're looking a little bit more in depth on those front idlers that we're putting on our Trident build. It's gonna be a little bit of a short video today, uh, but I'm gonna go through what I found outside of what I did last video. And I know this is kind of a recap a little bit, but trust me when I say I finally found what I wanted. I think you might like it too. And I wanna thank all those people that pushed me a little bit and probably had more faith in my skills than I did. So uh, let's check it out. All right, so I went off on a tangent last time, last video, and I apologize, it's been a while, but I was getting a little obsessed with my front idlers. So I wound up testing out the Rama idlers, I wound up testing the original idlers that came with the Voron, uh, or the Trident in this case, uh, and then I found my way into the beefy idlers, which is all on video, and in the end, in that video, I decided that the Rama's idlers were the best for me based on past performance, based on the way they looked, and based on what I wanted. But I wasn't truly happy. So, this happened. I went through iterations, I went through modifications, and I went through some of my own CAD work to try to develop a front idler that I thought was better. Through that, and through some comments I got in my video, I learned that there was a symmetric beefy idler, but there are issues with that as well. So let me go over first what I have here, and I'll talk a little bit about the roots of where my design came from, what I modified, who I spoke to, and give credit where credit is due. So all that being said, this is the Rama idler and these can go away for now. The Rama idler is a very nice idler. It's got a cover plate that goes over it like this. It is symmetric, meaning uh, basically when it sits on the frame on either side, it basically is the same on both sides. So whether it's on the inside there, inside there, it's the same. I like the design of the Rama Idler. The carriage I've never had a lot of issues with, although I do admit I have had to brake. Admittedly, I thought it was because of the plastic, but a lot of people have that issue. So, suggestions there are to go with what's called a Beefy Idler. So, this is the Beefy Idler. Front Idler. Beefy Front Idler has a mod to use a pin in the center as opposed to a screw. Um, the carriage or the section that rides inside of it is a lot more hefty, it's larger, it's more heavy duty. You use M5 screws as opposed to M3 screws, which is nice because I'll tell you what, and I don't have nuts in that one there, but when you go to tighten these up, you really feel it works really well. But this had some downsides as well. I like the design. I like the ruggedness of it. I like the way it looks, except for when you put it on the printer. The problem with the beefy idler is it's designed non-symmetric, meaning on this side, it hangs down like that, and on the other side, it hangs up. So no matter what you do, it's always going to look a little lopsided. So searching and having some comments in some videos, speaking with some people, I found that there is a symmetric beefy idler, which is this guy right here. Apologies for not having it put all together, but I built quite a few of these. This is the beefy symmetric idler. Okay, great. Differences, sure. It is wider because it's symmetric, meaning that it's going to be the same on both sides and just for show again, there you go, there you go. It's equal on both ends, but still issues. On the bottom here, for God only knows what reason, as opposed to allowing you to have this additional space here to tension your belts, 
it was removed. Not all of it, but a fair amount was removed. So now you have less room to tension your belt. I didn't like that, but it was workable. Next problem, the mod as I found it, not saying there are others out there that don't have this, but it left the ridges in. Now these are great if you're using it on a 2.4 Voron, uh, but the Trident doesn't need these belt locks in it whatsoever. And it, it's easy to tell that this was made for 2.4 modified for a uh, Trident uh, because it is missing the holes that the belt would slide through, but it does still have some cutouts, uh, some spaces here where that would be. So it's not exactly what I wanted. That being said, uh, this I found, and this basically, again, is a pinned version of what floats inside here, uh, which wasn't part of the original. The original used a, a screw, uh, but I was able to find this uh, through a gentleman who goes by the handle Fevered Mind uh, that I believe designed this, uh, and I will try to leave a link in the description down below, uh, basically to facilitate my, or his needs, my needs, uh, to be able to use a pin mod on the beefy. Great. Beefy, symmetric. What's to love? A lot. What's to hate? Some things. Okay. Fast forward, a little bit of CAD, which I'm not great at, but I fussed my way through it using the same internal carriage as it came with the beefy um, the symmetrical beefy, which is the longer one here. Uh, I have a symmetric beefy, like so, which is nice. I have brought back the depth, so we no longer are missing some additional depth here. I've also went to a double M5 as opposed to an M3 and an M5. It doesn't really make sense on the Trident to do that. You don't need to because there's no belts to get in the way. I've elongated the holes slightly so that you could put your M5 roll nuts in back to each. And if you place them in your rail, so long section to long section like so, it lines up with the holes on this, which is minor, but it's something. So that goes together, and this is my final, what's going in my Trident printer, which is my mod, beefy, front idler, I don't have a name for it, it doesn't need a name, um, but it's what I needed, and I will make these available via link. Now, some credit to be given out and some looking at where all this comes from. So. As mentioned before, Fever Mind here uh, is a gentleman I was speaking with who uh, showed me that he had developed a uh, basically a modification to allow the inner idler to use a pin as opposed to the screw. And through talking with him and a little bit of, we'll say nudging, I developed mine, which is also available on his uh, printables page here and uh, but with my full permission and uh, I, will, I will leave a link to that now the original modification is from Tetsu so mine is a mod of a mod of a mod and all in all after everything said and done I'm pretty happy with the way this came out has everything I need so just to take a quick break while we're talking about this and just to ask a question out there for you to leave a comment down below. If you're interested in CAD, if you, if you want to know the steps I took to do this for myself, leave a comment down below. I will do some videos about it, maybe do some live sessions where we can do some modifications of some parts like these. Because it was really fun and it's really great. You get a great feeling when you're able to modify something to exactly what you wanted it to be. Okay? So. Again, this is it. This is what's going on the printer. I am super happy with it. I give a lot of credit to Tetsu, uh, the original BFIs. Uh, also credit where credit is due to Fevermind. 
uh, for, for the nudge. Uh, and uh, of course, Kli for the BFI. So basically a mod of a mod of a mod of a mod. And I know it sounds bad because a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy isn't a bad thing, but these are iterations of a product that I believe have gotten better with time. And hopefully you give this a try if you, if you want to, if it's something you need. Um, again, more interested in feedback. If you want to provide feedback, I'm still willing to do some additional modification on this. Um, I just need to know what, uh, what I missed. What, what was I short on? What else could it use? So that being said, happy with it. It's going on my Trident. All right, that is my short video on my Trident front idlers that we developed in-house based on what I specifically wanted. Now, if you're into that type of video and you wanna learn more about CAD, and maybe how to modify some of your parts to do some of the things that you'd like them to do, by all means, leave me a comment down below. Definitely content we can put out there. If you enjoyed this video, you wanna give me a thumbs up. I truly appreciate that. And I super appreciate anybody that wants to subscribe to my channel and hasn't yet. So next video, we'll be putting the gantry together on the printer. So we'll be jumping ahead and getting back into that build. And um, yeah, so see you next video.